Um, and we decided that we wanted you to hear what we're going to do, since many of you will not be there. And we're not sure if you're going to get the chance to hear our program. So um, I'm going to explain a little bit about each of the pieces that we're doing and why I chose them. Uh, the first piece that we're going to be doing is Ave Maria by Javier Busto, an Argentinian composer. Uh, the reason I picked this piece is uh, it's a good piece to start with. It gets the nerves out of the way. It's not a crazy piece. It's a nice, quiet piece that will get their voices established and let the judges go, oh. Uh, the reason I picked it besides that is it also shows versatility of the group as far as dynamic ranges and it let them really sing to full potential throughout the piece and show the versatility that they have within the dynamic ranges of the piece. They'll be singing it in Latin, and uh, I'll explain the other pieces as we go on. So the first piece that we'll be doing is uh, by Javier Busto, Ave Maria. <laughs> Sunday morning on their way back from Guinea. A little kata, a little tamarind, and a big bula. Bula declared that he can hit the loudest bula declared. I can hit the loudest. Tamarind said, I have the most beautiful sound. He said, when I perform, keep quiet and listen. Kata, who was hearing all this, became angry. 
He could not comprehend how two soldiers who are dressed with the same outfit are all children of the same mother are sitting around making a scandal. One fine Mardi Gras day, Kata started to zoop. Every single person there began to dance. Kamaran and Bula, who were there listening to make the party more exciting, they started a great throng. That day, they all sang a song that, it'll, that I'll never forget. All drums that are dispersed, let's put our shoulders together to make life more beautiful. As I said, this is a very complicated piece. Uh, the program, the entire program that we're doing all four pieces is extremely comp complicated. Uh, none of which were written for a high school choir. The Ave Maria that you just heard was written by Javier Busto for his professional choir. He wrote it for his own choir of made up of professionals. This piece we're doing, Tuatamu, was um, written for the University of Miami Corral. And the other two pieces, I'll, as I explained them, I'll tell you who they were written for too. Uh, but none of them were written for high school groups, so it's a very, very complicated and extremely difficult program. They're doing a fantastic job with it. It was Tuatamu. <coughs> Okay. 
little complicated. <laughs> Not the piece you're going to sing along to. Um, the next piece we'll be doing is called Onata Lux, and it was written by Guy Forbes. It will be sung in Latin. Um, this was written for a professional choir from Michigan called the Vanguard Voices. Again, it's sung in multiple parts. At, su at one point, they'll be singing on maybe 10 parts towards the end. Um, this, I picked this piece because it shows versatility from the piece that we just performed. It's completely different. It's softer, it's more legato, a lot of harmonies throughout, and it really showcases the voices at this point. The last piece showcased, it showcased rhythmic precision and harmony and stuff like that, but this piece showcases the tone quality of the voices and their dynamic levels, how they blend within the women, how they blend within the men, and how they blend with each other as well. So it's, again, it's showing a lot of versatility for us, and that was the reason I picked this piece. Oh, not the looks. <coughs> Our final piece that we'll be doing, we, we're allowed four pieces, 
And the final piece that we'll be doing is the Battle of Jericho, arranged by Moses Hogan. Um, I picked this piece because it's always nice to close with the spiritual. It leaves them wanting more. Um, but this is, a, again, another piece that shows rhythmic complexity and precision on their part, as well as harmonic precision. Um, and I, I, this is the piece, I'm sorry I made a mistake, this is the piece where they're singing in 11 parts at the end. Um, so there are times when there's only two pieces, two people on a part and so on. But um, it's a very energetic and dynamic piece, and it's a good piece to close with because it just makes it go boom. Um, so again, it shows versatility from the piece that we just did, and it also shows another side of what they're capable of doing. So Battle of Jericho by Moses Hogan. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.